All right, right now uh, what you can see is I have my scene um, with the car in it, and I already have my lighting set up. Uh, if we go into my top view here just real quick, um, kind of hide my geometry. You see I have a couple of lights in the scene and some cameras, um, but I just want to quickly go um, back into my camera view here because I'm not really going to go over um, any of my um, uh, camera stuff or... Um, any of my uh, lighting stuff. Um, really, I just want to show you a kind of universal method for um, applying settings that will give you uh, very fast render times. Um, so basically, we have our preset up file. Uh, I'm going to run this as is. We're going to look at um, the settings and we're going to look at the current times that are um, basically being estimated by V-Ray for uh, completion on the lighting calculations and on the rendering. We're also going to then go in and gut the settings. The only thing that we're really going to keep from the settings will be the color settings for the file. Everything else is going to get essentially gutted and I'll show you how to do that uh, very quickly. Then we're going to um, redo the settings and these are essentially settings that you could use for a day scene, a night scene, um, an interior scene, an exterior scene, uh, some detail images, some diagrams. You can use these settings for, for any a file that you have set up for any cameras you have set up, um, you know, for any types of lightings. I mean, it's really just basically some of the, the basic V-Ray settings. And I'm not going to go into any details on exactly what the settings are doing. Um, if you want me to post a video about uh, what the settings are uh, exactly uh, affecting and, and kind of what they're controlling, I can post a video going into all the details of, of exactly what the calculations are doing. Um, but I'd rather just kind of show you basically um, what what you need to change in order to kind of get very quick uh, renders out. So uh, finally, we'll we'll compare the times back to the original file that um, we're starting with here, and we'll just kind of see the difference um, in terms of the the start in terms of how long it took, and then the finish in terms of how long it took. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go ahead. We'll um, pull up our settings dialog. And uh, we can see our images set to 1200 by 900, which is uh, fine. I, I, I'm just going to leave it there. It's a decent size. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to change anything. I'm basically just going to hit render here, and we're going to see how long um, this takes to go through and do the calculations. And uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to let it get into the light, uh, light cache calculation here. And um, just so you can see the time estimation um, right here on the right hand side and this is the of course the running time um, that is basically keeping track of how long it's taken so far. So I'm gonna let this go for about um, you know maybe 30 30 40 seconds here I'll pause the video and then I'll uh, pick it back up basically when um, the light, light cat calculation finishes for the light cache and then we're going to uh, show you the light calculations for the irradiance map. So like I said, I'll let this go here for just a little bit longer um, before I pause it and then uh, I'll pick it back up when it gets into the irradiance map calculations. And uh, like I said, I'll just pick it back up for the irradiance map calculations. Um, as you can see right now, it's about you know, just, just over three minutes is what it's calculating. So I, I imagine sometime around three minutes to get my uh, my light cache calculation done um, is just kind of what this is, is estimating. So I'm gonna pause it now and then I'll pick it back up here. All right, so well, picking it back up just uh, a little bit here before the light cache finishes. Um, I also wanted to talk just a little bit about the scene. Uh, you know, it it's really is a basic scene. There really is not a whole lot going on. I, ha I have a car and a backdrop here. Um, there's some reflections obviously in the paint and uh, I have some reflections on um, my ground but I mean really it's it's a very basic setup uh, there's there's a few lights in the scene um, you know very basic environment uh, you know there there really isn't anything that uh, complicated in this scene um, and yet you know just the light calculation uh, for the light cache alone took you know right around four minutes so um, kind of currently how this is set up I mean the settings are just you know, in my opinion, um, pretty astronomical, especially when you're under deadline and you really need to get something out. Um, you know, these settings are just, just way too high. And in the end, when you go to print it with a printer, um, you're never gonna be able to tell the difference in quality um, in terms of, you know, some of the settings that I typically use 
and you know some of the settings that some of these people use. I mean, if you're presenting digitally on a, a big HD screen, uh, you know maybe then it is worth it to crank some of the settings up a little bit more, um, so you can really you know wow your your people with uh, just some incredible graphics. But I mean, otherwise, if if you're kind of printing this out on a board or or you know even if it's just uh, kind of just a regular TV. Um, you know, the big screen that you're presenting it on, it's not necessarily like 1080p or, you know, even a projector. Projectors uh, typically are not uh, the best resolution unless it's a newer projector. So, you know, it just really isn't worth uh, cranking your settings up and just waiting for hours and hours on this kind of stuff. Um, so you can see I have uh, three passes um, that are, as I go into my radiance map calculations, uh, the first one took about a minute and uh, my second pass is taking much longer. Um, it's estimated right now, right around three, it's kind of jumping up and down. Um, but I'm gonna pause it again here and uh, let this go and I'll pick it up towards the end of the third pass. Um, it seems like this one's gonna be somewhere around two now is, is what it's estimating at. So let me pause it and I'll pick it up at the uh, end of the third pass. All right, so we're at the end of our third pre-pass and uh, this one actually took a little bit longer than the other two. Um, this one is clocking in right around three minutes for my third pre-pass. So if you've been keeping track, uh, my, my light cache was around three minutes and then I had about um, a minute for my first pre-pass. The second was like a minute and a half, two minutes. And then third one here was um, three minutes. So, you know, we're already talking about, um, you know, eight and a half, eight minutes, something like that. Um, you know, just for my lighting calculations. So we're not even into the uh, rendering portion of this. Um, we're just talking about the light, uh, the lighting calculations, and you know, we're already eight minutes in um, to my render time. Uh, typically, uh, for something around you know 1200 by 900, um, I would expect to be about 50% uh, complete with with the rendering. Not you know, not just finishing up my light calculations, getting into um, the rendering portion of it. Um, so you can see we've, you know, we've definitely have some pretty high settings in this file um, and there's, you know, quite a bit going on in terms of the calculation and then what, what the computer is trying to process here. Um, so it's, it's not exactly the most, you know, rapid, uh, rapid file in terms of getting this image done and out. Uh, I'm actually going to pause it again. Uh, like I said, it's into the rendering portion right now. We're a minute in and, and my buckets have not um, uh, moved at all yet. Um, they're sitting, you know, up here in this upper left-hand corner, and they're not even into any of the reflections or, or any of my uh, lighting or, or glass material or anything like that, which is definitely going to be more complicated than just my kind of con concrete building backdrop. Um, so I'm going to pause it again here, and um, I'll pick it back up once I, an estimation actually pops up here in the uh, upper right-hand um, corner and gives me um, some idea of just how long this thing might take to finish the entire image. All right, so right now I'm about um, 14 minutes into the total render time. I had about eight minutes of lighting calculations and right now I'm running about six minutes into my current render time. You can see some of my buckets have uh, started to move, but you know, currently there's, uh, there's, they're moving pretty slowly and they're still up here in the top uh, left-hand corner of my image. And you see my image um, estimated time of completion is uh, somewhere right around you know four hours uh, and 20 minutes um, you know four hours and 30 minutes so you know if if i were to wait for this to finish you know v-ray is pretty good at calculating how long these things are going to take so i mean i can pretty much take take its word that it's going to take somewhere around four hours um, it might even take a little bit longer because right now it's just rendering some simple kind of concrete backdrop materials it hasn't even gotten into the more complicated Reflections reflecting my environment and some of my lights that I have set up. Um, so all that stuff is a little more complicated than just the simple backdrop stuff. So I can imagine it taking even longer to kind of get through the rendering portion uh, once it gets down into the the uh, lower right side of this image and you know especially where the reflections are. Um, so I mean yeah, somewhere around four hours is, is basically what I'm expecting for this image to uh, to finish up and to render. Um, so I'm going to stop. Uh, stop rendering this image and um, basically what I'm going to do is go into getting this file now and seeing if we can't improve one the uh, lighting calculations and then two um, just the times to get this thing out 
And uh, what we'll do is we'll do kind of, um, the, you know, we're not going to change, um, the thing is we're not going to change the resolution either. I'm not going to crank the resolution down real low um, in order to get my times up and make them a lot quicker. Um, I'm going to leave it at the same resolution. All I'm going to do is just go in there and change the settings. But um, I do want to say I'll, I'll, I'll kind of go through two different iterations. I'll do one where it's um, basically for previews only, where I'm looking at materials and lighting and just kind of seeing that everything is roughly okay. And then I'm going to do a second settings, which would basically be something that would be good enough to present or to show in a kind of a preliminary stage. And then, of course, I'll, I'll give you some recommended settings for, for like a final scene that you know shouldn't take four hours or you know three hours and 40 minutes or or whatever this thing is going to finish at um but should take uh somewhere maybe around like half an hour at most to get your your final image that um basically is showing some pretty powerful uh graphics and you know a, a very nice crisp clean kind of image um so i'm going to pause this video here and pick up in part two and go right into stripping this file out and uh, getting your settings to a very optimized level